side coming out just now. Just out from the parlour coming back to the field and they're just come in the gate and they're just going straight across to the new grass. You can see the line now where the fence had been. They're not even stopping here, they're just going straight to the new grass because they enjoy it that much. I'm back out in the field with the cows after they've been milked. As you can see, they're all tucking into the grass. We gave them a fresh bit of grass today. So there was an electric wire pretty much where I'm standing. And we took that down and let them into this fresh bit of field with some nice long grass. Beforehand, they had been on this side. As you can see, the grass is a lot shorter. We only give them a part of the field at a time so that they eat all that they've got and there's none to waste. But I think you can agree with me that they're all enjoying their nice fresh grass. See, even as cows, they're still super nosy to see what's going on and interested in the dog. Right now I'm standing on the cow track. There's a track that goes to every single field that the cows go into. So they walk on this to and from the parlour every single day. It's made of asher turf, so it's actually old playing fields and artificial pitches at schools that it's made of. So it's nice and soft and comfortable for them to walk on and it stops them getting lame. Especially when sometimes they've got quite far to go to the parlour. Tankers here decide to collect the milk from Graham's dairies. He comes here every day to get it and it takes it up to Stirling where it gets processed and put it into bottles for your bottled milk. It also gets made into ice cream, yogurt, cheese, butter, all your dairy products you buy on the shelf. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed your virtual visit and we hope to welcome you back to the farm soon.